Yeah. See that right behind you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's an Oriole. Oh no, there's a uh, bass that blew up right at this uh, lay down, right? That's law. Right over here. Right there. Oh, nice. <laughs> there we go. I recorded this one. All right, let's try this again. Down here at Snell's Creek. John invited me out here. Thanks, buddy. Well done. <laughs> this is actually the second fish I caught. The uh, on this, my second cast today, I nailed an even bigger bass on the frog. But I wasn't recording. <clears throat> this place is uh, awesome. It has three different ponds. Got uh, some murky, weeded vegetation here. Crystal clear waters here. We're gonna see if we can find any lunkers today. Let them go. Is that fish? Wow! Got one take it, to take it all the way out there. Nice. We switched over to the uh, clear pond. I'm trying to get, keep the top water by going. Got a little baby on the gunfish. All right. Yeah. I just read an article about calling up uh, bass on in clear water lakes. So I thought I'd try it here in this pond. <laughs> Let's see if we can find some bigger ones. Got him. Man, six inch Senko. I think I got a six inch fish. <laughs> Green pumpkins just made a quick bait change. Let's see, let's compare the sizes of the fish versus the bait. I think the fish has about two inches on the bait. <laughs> Oh, you can get that carp. <laughs> Look at it on the fall. Oh, it's a better fish. There we go. Better fish. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Holy moly. Whoa, jeez. Jeez, that's a fatty. Just switch first gas, switch up to a shaky head. This big boy nailed it. Nice. Wow, that's a four, that's a four and a half pounder. Got her. Woo! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about, nice. man! I told you she was in here. Jeez, you called that right by the dam? Man, John told me the big ones around here, he was right. I'm not gonna lie guys, John's the coolest fisherman. I've ever fished with. He just told me, as a co-angler, he fished with, who are the pros he fished with? Kevin Van Dam, Roland Martin, Orlando Wilson. Shaw Grigsby? Shaw Grigsby. That's awesome, dude. And you were an expert co-angler? You said you won how many boats? You three won boats. And some cars, too? Three trucks. Three trucks, three boats. This guy, he knows what's up. And he's going to start his own channel soon. I'll let you guys know when he does. You can check out some of his footage. Let me get a quick wait. Let's let, make sure she gets some. Like I'm four guessing, I'm guessing about yeah, about four. We'll see. We got uh, let's see what we got here. Four pounds, seven ounces, four, four. Great four pounder. Things are getting. Action's been solid all day. This is like our 15th fish. Let it go. Off she goes. There's one. We're fishing the uh, third pond right now. It's uh, really muddy here. We're probably gonna switch soon. Got one on the jig. Probably gonna go back to the second or first pond. John's over there. He said there's a uh, always a super huge bass hanging around here. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to see it today with the uh, water clarity like this. Got one on the tree. Another fish in a jig, surfing back. Took it right on the fall, right where you're supposed to be. For a second, I thought that was eight pounder the way he hit it. 
<laughs> Got one? one. Nice one. Nice one? That's what I'm talking about, John. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Oh, nice. There she is. There it is. There we go. Come on. Jump for dead. Come on. Oh, oh, what a job. <laughs> Holy. You call that one nice. On the Senko, right? On the Senko. Five inch? Uh, yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a beauty. Here she comes. Wow. That's bigger than my bass. Jeez. What a fish. That is awesome. Uh, that is great. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, that's a five pounder at, at least. Ah. Holy, look at this. Look how athletic she is. Ah. Wow, jeez. That's a five and a half. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Do you want me to weigh it for you? Yeah, if you don't mind. Of course. Yeah, three, we got three, we said, the scale says 312. All right, I'm But that's a nice fish though. I thought it was bigger than that. What do you think it weighs? It's close to four. Okay, close uh, to four. All right, I thought it was bigger than mine. It looks like because she's definitely longer. Nice fish show. There she goes. Those are some awesome jumps. Nice job, man. That was, that was great. That was sweet. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I've had fun, and I think that's the key. That is the key. Yeah, have fun with it. You know, when I talk to you know the Shaw Griggs. Roland Martin, he'll tell you flat out. He said, it's a business, you got to treat it as a business. And that wasn't my style of fishing. Yeah, I don't like that. Talking to Shaw Grigsby. Um, he he looks like he has a lot of fun. Yeah, Hank Parker was another one. I love Hank Parker. Okay, so out of all the pros you fish with, who is your favorite to fish with? Mm, that's a good question. Um, so you said Roland Martin treated it as a business. Yeah. Shaw was fun. Shaw was fun. He's always laughing when I see him fish. But he did a lot of sight fishing, so I learned a lot. Oh yeah, he loves sight fishing. Um, and if you had to say maybe top three that you've had the most fun with fishing with, who would you say? Hank Parker. Hank Parker. He's just he's just a nut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, and uh, now I will tell you, not, yeah? not um, freshwater, but okay. Jose Wahebe. He was a saltwater fisherman. Um, had a show on called the Spanish Fly. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're casting. You, you're like pinpointing this exact same spot every time. Oh, that's the, Is that's it? the whole point. Yeah. You still tore that lay down over there, right? Yep. Just yeah, you triangulate. Right towards, yeah, I think, I don't know if there's a little, it doesn't feel like it's falling as far as it should. So I don't know if there's like another little rise out there. There's some, some sort of structure out there, though. That's good casting, though. Very accurate. Super accurate. Yeah, I feel it across the bottom. There's one. <laughs> you called that one. Man, the play-by-play. Uh, Alright, let go. Oh, no, he's still there. He's still there? <laughs> yeah, there you go. The pinpoint casting pays off again. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's definitely a decent one. Yeah, we'll take that one. Nice. That green pumpkin scent coat with that chartreuse tail. Oh, it fell out. There you go. That makes it real easy. <laughs> Feisty. I'll give you some bass thumb. He wouldn't jump. Nice. He wouldn't jump. <laughs> There's one on the frog. Little one. Ooh, it's always fun to watch him come up and eat it, though. John had to leave to go to work, and I have to go to work in about half an hour. We'll see if I can get a couple more fish using a Spro Bronzei frog. This frog's really nice because it uh, walks perfectly. And you guys can see, uh, this is why you always fish the uh, windy side of the bank. Um, this morning the algae was all scattered, now it's all formed this uh, mat over here. And I've had about, uh, probably about seven or eight strikes in the last ten. Alright guys, I'm finishing up my day today at Snell's Greenhouse. It was an awesome day, had a ton of fun. And thanks again to my subscriber John for the invite. It's awesome meeting such a uh, cool angler, especially someone who's fished with so many pros that uh, I look up to. Anyways, if any of you guys live around this area, I uh, definitely recommend you check it out. It costs $10 a day to fish, but it's uh, totally worth it. They're the biggest bass pulled out of here is over 10 pounds and it's cash release only, so the uh, fish will just keep getting bigger. 
Another cool thing is that there's tons of shore access and there's three different ponds. This uh, first pond that we fished started the day at has a lot of algae, but uh, now it's pushed over here. Perfect for a frog bite. The main pond over here that we fished, it has uh, gin clear water, seven to 10 feet of visibility, lots of milfoil, great for a uh, Senko fluke bite. Uh, John and I easily pulled out over 25 bass. Uh, we only had about five keepers, but two of them were real nice bass. Then there's a pond all the way in the back, the muddy one that I was fishing with a jig. Um, that one uh, has some big, both of these small ponds have uh, bass over 10, uh, five pounds, sorry, maybe 10 pounds, I don't know. But uh, it was a great day and uh, got some good practice in fishing in the wind with plastics, which is always tricky because it's tough to maintain feel with the bite, feel of the lure. Um, I wanted to get a moving bite, bait bite going with like a uh, crankbait or a spinnerbait, but um, unfortunately the water temperature was really high, like 82 degrees. So the bass were a little bit lethargic and didn't really want to chase down my lures too much. So I had to stick with the plastics and uh, deal with the high winds we were getting. But overall it turned out excellent and I'll definitely uh, be out here again sometime to chase that 10 pounder. Uh, thanks for watching.